My name is Brittany Edwards, and I am a Kalamazoo College alum and president of the Graduate and Professional Student Body at the University of Minnesota. Hi, my name is Alfonso Sinjago, and I am the Executive Vice President. We appreciate your consideration for the Kalamazoo College Arcus Center Collaborative Leadership Prize. We represent the 10 councils of the Graduate and Professional Programs, from law to medicine. We are practicing a collaborative leadership model with the future leaders of these fields. We are also supported by the Office of Student Affairs through the student fees process and we collaborate with the undergraduate student governance. Our decisions are based on a developmental evaluation model. In this case, um, we see a word cloud that's describing the pressing concerns of the student experience. This was based on a qualitative data process from our student body survey. This year, we added the support and training from the Center for Integrative Leadership at the University of Minnesota, which is similar to the Arcus Center. These are the tenets of integrative leadership. The main idea is that the best leaders believe in shared power, dialogue, and imagination to solve our world's grand challenges. Some of the integrative leadership techniques include integrating intuition, reason, and imagination in making decisions, to build strategic relationships by communicating across difference, and to manage results and continuously assess outcomes and impacts. Our goals are to manage complex challenges within the university and beyond, to encourage the ideal that everyone can be a leader with the right training. We work on collaborative projects with stakeholders within and beyond the university. We train students to lead using civic engagement techniques, such as World Cafe and polarity mapping, rather than the standard practices and governance of using Robert's rules and debate. We want everyone to be heard. Harvesting and conversation allows us to actively listen. It allows for everyone to participate in and be heard to move from conversation to social change. Grand challenges are cross-sector, public-private, civil society issues. They include incomplete or contradictory knowledge. They encompass large networks of people and opinion. Grand challenges involve large economic burdens and reveal the interconnected nature of these challenges. Various organizations such as UNESCO and the U.S. government are increasingly promoting open policies and standards as a way in which to more effectively solve challenges. We at the University of Minnesota are applying different emerging technologies, such as greater openness, to reduce the cost of education and improve access to information. Improvements in technology are allowing for the increased interaction between stakeholders and decision makers. Information is increasingly available to anyone through open, open source software, open data, open content, open educational resources, and open standards and policies. We can improve government, organizations, and their ability to address challenges. By promoting open access, students will be able to address, access a greater library of resources that will also be available to anyone with internet access. Even schools such as Harvard and Stanford have had to reduce journal subscriptions based on cost. We want the public schools of the United States to require that public research stays public. This allows for greater innovation. Reducing textbook costs can greatly reduce student educational expenses. Textbook costs have increased at a rate much greater than the rate of inflation. It is the most expedient way to address higher education costs and improve on a broken market. Instead of spending over $1,000 every year, students will be able to obtain comparable resources for a fraction of the cost or at no cost. These books can be also adapted to fit the needs of every course through the use of Creative Commons licenses. California has been a leader in this process by authoring the production of over or 50 open textbooks for the most common undergraduate courses. We are working with legislatures to enact a similar policy in the state of Minnesota. Taking into consideration the goals of the land-grant institution, along with the affordances of emerging technologies, we can more effectively meet the challenges of the 21st century. Massive online open courses benefit anyone in the world and are available at no cost to students. We believe that MOOCs can also be developed to address grand challenges. We are hosting an open space forum on e-learning with the provost to discuss some of these opportunities. By promoting open innovation, open ideas, and open governance, all of which promote a greater level of collaboration, challenges can be managed or addressed more effectively. Finding Common Ground forums are opportunities to address grand challenges and practice the engagement tools with stakeholders involved across the region. This model, created by the Center for Integrative Leadership, is being reviewed by the World Health Organization and Food Agriculture Organization at the UN for application worldwide. 
Our goal is to teach the method to student leaders in our university programs. Past topics for these forums have included human trafficking, animal health and worker well-being, and antibiotic use in agriculture. These discussions have brought local, state, and federal agencies, large corporations, nonprofits, and activist groups to literally the same table in a novel way to discuss polarizing issues across difference. We are planning a mental health and gun violence forum in April sponsored by the Center for Integrative Leadership and the Graduate and Professional Student Body. Future topics include immigration reform and to address affordability in higher education. All of our methods are grounded in program evaluation techniques taught both in the College of Education and at the Humphrey School. Through triangulation and in-depth analysis, we are able to better understand current challenges. We conducted numerous interviews of multiple stakeholders, including previous GAPSA executive members, an extensive survey of the student body, and conducted focus groups with each of the councils. We have also instituted a yearly developmental evaluation process within our organization. The following is a logic model outlining our goals as an organization, including our activities, outputs, and outcomes. Logic models are a tool to see how you are meeting your mission and goals. Our primary mission is to represent and advocate for the graduate and professional students of the University of Minnesota. Our goal is to challenge our students to practice a higher level of leadership that we see in our state than we see in our state and federal democracies today. It is not easy. People are often reticent to try new ideas or change the status quo. We feel that the best part of student government is that we are students of government. We have tried to use our organization as an opportunity to try new methods and evaluate their effectiveness in a lab environment that the University of Minnesota offers. We hope you see that this is a way, as we do, to address the grand challenges our society faces now and in the future. We appreciate the ARCA Center Selection Committee for your consideration of our application.